Aya making a video tonight. Grandma said I gotta fix my hair. Okay, so <laughs> I'm making a video tonight, which is a copy of a video that somebody posted in our group the other day about how to pack a mug at a fair price and ship it flat rate. So you can ship across the whole country via flat rate and a bubble mailer. So let's hope I get this right, guys. I'm gonna wrap the video, uh, wrap the mug by tucking this in like this. He, I tuck, I do it a little bit different than the guy in the video. And I roll up my mug in my bubble wrap. Like so. I have my tape right here. I want to make sure that all is tucked in and tight. Oh, I hate when I mess up my tape. Don't you hate when you mess your tape up? Okay. I mean, it's pretty ingenious the way the guy came up with this, to be honest with you. Very smart. I'll give you the name of the man who made the original video in a few minutes. I just don't remember it at the moment. But I'll look it up for you guys. So now that you have your mug bubble wrapped halfway decently, I'm sure you can figure a way to bubble wrap just a little bit better than me. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, he took a priority box. This is a priority shoe box. And I believe he just made a square out of it. Hmm. Wow, I'm having a little bit of a hard time, guys. I just rolled it up in the box. And I'm going to cut my edge. And I'm going to tape it. Guys, I really hope this works. It will look like it worked really well in his video. So I'm confident that we'll get some good results also. All I did was take a box and make a tube out of it. And I got the mug right down there in the center. You see that, guys? Hmm. Now... I got it. You cut down the side. Like this. And you cut down this side. And what, he's, what he did was he made some flaps. Can you tell that I did not practice this before I did it? Okay. So now we're going to fold those flaps in. Like so. I'll cut this one, make it a little easier for myself. So basically what we're doing here is we're just making a capsule to protect the mug. I'll that over. And I'll just trim it a little bit. Sorry if I'm being sloppy, guys. I'm definitely going to work on this packaging method a little bit. If I use it for myself. So 
So this way when I ship, it looks halfway decent to the customer when it comes out of the packaging, the shipping. So basically all I did was just make flaps and seal it up at the end to you. I've never used this method before, but it looked really cool when I saw the video. And the man that did it was definitely on the right track. Okay. So I have one more side to do. See, I have one side. There's the other side. Okay. Cutting straight down towards the mug again. So I can make some flaps. side still. Let's do this one over first. So you can see that with a little bit of practice, we'll probably get it to look pretty square if we tried. But it does take practice. I guess once you figure out your method, it'll all be good. But you can see where the handle is, the shape. And we're just going to tape this up. With my handy dandy, tape this thing up. As all of you know that have gotten some shipments from me, I love my tape. I use too much of it sometimes, but I feel that I'm securing the shipment just that much better. Okay, so now we have our mug wrapped up in a priority box, which is perfectly legit because we're using it for priority shipping. We're taking it in our flatmate wrap flat rate mailer which I'll look up the exact price while we do the live but I think it's about six dollars or six fifty and you can ship through the whole country anywhere take your box put it in the bubble mailer this is the bubble mailer not the regular mailer and seal it we now have a I'm mug. This we have a mug and a flat rate box and a flat rate bed and a priority box wrapped in bubble wrap and a bubble wrapped priority mailer. Can't beat that, folks. So, Amy, how's your method? <laughs>